we need to go even deeper into the chasm in order to open the path that was blocked by large stones back when the mine was sealed. Looks like you'll have to borrow the power of the Mountainator this time. And I'm ready. I know what to expect here within the chasm. I have to get two keys, which is going to be very interesting indeed. I don't know exactly what we have to do, but whatever we have to do, I'm going to do it. That is for sure. I think what I need to do is maybe jump on this. Make sure... What's up here? Oh! Oh. Seriously? So that's where the key was, huh? All right. That was one key. Pretty easy. <laughs> Pretty, pretty easy. But I hope all of you are excited for today's video. If you are, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, all right, all right. All right. Drop your weapons. Boom. My royal Don't get too close. Here. Jeez. I feel like it's been a minute since battle. So let's finish this up quick, shall we? Just focus on one boy right now. These guys are pretty, pretty weak. One more. One more. I am uh, kind of glad that this is the finale night of the Chasm Delvers quest. The Chasm is so uh, claustrophobic, <laughs> you know? It brings a, a certain tension into the air that I don't know uh, if I was expecting or ready, or ready for, honestly. Oh, I need to go even deeper, literally. Oh my goodness. What? Even deeper? How deep does this hole go? No way. Oh my goodness. Well, actually, hold that thought, shall we? Oh my goodness. We are so deep in here. This has to be the lower level of the chasm, I would imagine. Stop right there. My run up. Ow! Through me, justice is served. Come on, buddy boy. The other guy is almost KO'd, so. Yeah. I was gonna say, I would imagine he's not gonna be standing around for very much longer. Ooh, some raw meat. Thank you. I definitely need that. A well-deserved find. All right, it's gotta be up here, right? No. Where is it? Oh, it's got to be right here. Um, okay. All right. I like where this is going. Drop your weapons. Oh, that is so cool. Heck yeah, baby. Two keys in a dream. So let's go blow that wall up. I wonder what's going to be at the bottom of this chasm. I know it's going to be some sort of a boss. There's no way that it's not. So let's open this gate up. Grab the cannonballs. Oh. 
Okay. Well, how can they be in that? All right. Perseverance has paid off. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be on this stuff for too long. Is this? Stop right there. Just as we we'll re uh, reveal. Fire it up. Too bad this uh to this stuff wasn't like your sins weigh upon your soul. Uh, I couldn't ignite it. That'd be awesome. All right, looks like I'm gonna go after you. All right, here. Come on, here. I don't know what that stuff is doing to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. But I'm gonna fight it in anyway, apparently. <laughs> At least got one down. Maybe both, actually. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Thank you very much. Have a great day. All right, Clinifo. We found the cannon balls. They're in perfect shape. How do the fuses look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. How did that happen? The fuses in here have all been designed such that they are activated by a catalytic reaction with Geo. But the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The geocatalytic elements within the fuses have all turned into this strange inert blue crystal. So they're all useless. Well, that's not good. We weren't prepared for such strange goings on. Well, there were definitely some words in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So what happens to the cannonballs without the fuses? Uh, that's not a very bright question. <laughs> uh, what was that again? Paimon couldn't hear you. Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying that without their fuses, none of these cannonballs would explode, even if you kick them around like a ball. Because, uh, well, the fuse is what makes the explosive material explode, you know. The fuse reacts with Geo and then with the contents of the cannonball and then, and then boom, right? Yes, boom, but without their fuses, these cannonballs won't explode at all. Uh, this is going to be tough. Aren't Geo reactions themselves inert? Aye, that's basic alchemical knowledge, that is. However, the potential energy within elements can be quite hard to estimate. Hmm, for example, if you were to pressurize geo-elemental particles such that they would be densely packed inside a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate significant explosive force all the same. Huh, that reminds Paimon of the curious abilities used by people with geovision. Huh, then where do they all hide the geo-elements they use? The principles work differently for elemental users. That's a completely separate matter to how the miners of Liyue made ad hoc fuses. You know, how does a treasure hoarder from Mondstadt like you know all this stuff better than the people from Liyue? <laughs> Wanna guess? Uh, can we hit this guy already? So, is there any way to switch to fuses? Well, if you trust me, I can make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. Uh, you know what? It's not that we don't trust you, but you are a treasure hoarder, and you're not a miner either. Who's to say you won't blow us all sky high? And even if Paimon does trust you, it's not like KB would. Well, the job's all yours. Uh, didn't Ji Chiang say... All right, all right. Stop explaining already. Uh, what's Paimon going to do about you? I doubt he'd risk blowing himself sky high as well. If you ask Paimon, this is how all the bad guys and stories would want it to go. But since you say so, Paimon will listen to what he has to say. All right, Glutifo, go ahead. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there is some minute risk involved, in case you're worried. Minute. <laughs> I said minute. 
We just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil with double the usual density. Isn't that some kind of potion? Exactly. As I said earlier, a double density potion can also serve to catalyze an elemental explosion. I use this principle to collapse some tunnels during my time with a treasure. Uh, sorry. Never mind that I said that. It's fine. I, we don't really care about your hoarder days. If I might ask, how minute is this risk? Well, if an accidental explosion occurs, which it might, considering the unstable nature of concentrated essential oils, the explosion shouldn't be able to drastically alter any geological formations. Oh, that's a pretty small explosion then. That's fine. Paimon's not too worried. That said, any organic matter within the explosion radius might experience disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and it's going to be a mess. Paimon didn't get it, but it sure sounds scary. Kadive has set up a crafting bench back at camp, but we can't first attempt to follow the formula to make the essential oils here. If you don't have enough materials on hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need, and we can continue from there. Uh, please keep the formula with you. Just follow it, and we'll be fine. In any case, please be careful when walking around with said oil. Shake it too much or drop it accidentally, and there might be an explosive accident. All right, all right. Stop trying to scare us already. Let's see. Make three oils. Do we have... The stuff to make it. I certainly hope so. Absolutely, we do. Frogs. We all, we only needed frogs. Look at that. Beautiful. All of those frogs that I picked up. I knew I was going to need them. There you go, Clitifo. How did it go? Did you finish making the unmoving essential oil? We got it and took good care of it too. Here it is. Huh. All right, that's it. Don't shake it. Steady now. All right. Looks like this will do. Now we just need to insert the fuse into the cannonball. Clitifo busies himself mounting the fuse onto the cannonball. Okay, that should do it. Be careful now. Don't bump that thing around everywhere or things might get lively in here. I'm back with a new map. Go on, have a look. Thanks for your trouble. Nice. Eh, it was nothing. I'm just glad to be able to help. How are things on your end? Did you find the cannonballs? Hey, careful. This one's got a fuse in it already. If you move it around too much, we're all gonna be done for. Hey, hey, hey. When did you start putting on airs? If you were the one holding the bomb, you'd sound pretty brave too, I'll bet. Is that a threat? Have you stopped hiding your true treasure hoarder colors already? Well... Gonna blow us up now? Come on! I've said this before! Bombs are indiscriminate. You go on like this, and I don't think it'll matter whether I want to blow you up or not. Hmm. It's not like I can read your mind or something. Who knows what thoughts you're having in that mind of yours? You treasure hoarders are all the same. Criminal minds with criminal mindsets. And now you've even got the bomb with you. Great, huh? And what of that? If it was in your hands, you'd have blown us up 30 times by now. What are you two children? Cut it out already. Sorry, I just don't trust this treasure hoarder. That works for me. I can barely respect someone who jumps at every shadow she sees either. Hey, are you two even listening? Okay, okay. All right. Go ahead. So I'm not asking you two to trust each other or anything. I know, but he... May I have a word? That's true. She wasn't around to see us working on that bomb after all. You shut it as well. But if you don't work together, we're going to get nowhere fast. Just don't make me regret joining the exploration team. Thanks. 
Wow, KB actually got mad. Let's just drop that argument already, okay? The two of you already put up walls before you could even talk. That's no way to properly communicate. Since we're all on the same exploration team, let's just talk nicely, okay? Just this once. Anyone coming with me? I'll go with you. I'll stay in the camp then. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'd love to help, but I think Jin Moo needs my help more. I've also got to thank her for taking me in, you know. Uh, it's fine. I, since KB has said so, I'll trust you. Not that I didn't before, but... All right, all right. Let's head off before you start arguing again. Okay, let's go blow down a wall. All right, we're gonna drop in three, two, one, and uh, boop. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna grab this waypoint. And then we can fly right down. Gotta figure out how to get rid of those. Cleanse the area. It's up? Oh, no! Well, I guess this waypoint instantly comes in handy. <laughs> Wait, now it's saying it's down. Oh, right here. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Safe blasting device is signaling guide. Low lamp post, high frequency flicker. Middle lamppost, low frequency flicker. High lamppost, low frequency flicker. Wait, what does that even mean? Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. High, low, okay. Low, high, middle, low, high, low. Low, high, middle, low. Low, high, middle, low, high, low. Hello? All right, perfect. There we go. Boom. We got it. We got it. I know what to do. I know what to do now, baby. I know what to do now. Release the safety on the cannon breach. Wait, why didn't it make me come over here? So that's low. That is low frequency. Uh, is that the other one over there? Wait, I don't know. So we need to come over here and do a little searching. Wait, oh, right here. Nope, that's not the lamppost. Is it? Oh, it's right here. Ow! Drop your weapons. Hands where I can see. Oh, for me. Here's backup. Nowhere to run. Jeez. Judgment is upon. That thing came out of nowhere. We definitely have to take this thing out because if we have the wrong frequencies, it's not gonna work. And we're gonna have to come over here anyway. All right, and it looks like there was one up higher. Let's see, or was that the one? All right, hold on. Let's go back here. And let's see. Let's see if that was actually the one that I had to get. Observe, yes. Oh, one right there. High, medium, low. It's talking about height. All right, so this is All right. 
That was that was it? That was it? Oh my goodness! I thought I did it wrong. I thought I did that absolutely wrong, but we got it right. We should be able to load the cannonball now. Be careful, the fuse has already been mounted. Uh, if we had known that we had to do this, we should have just mounted the fuse here and loaded the cannonball all at once. That's all water under the bridge by now, Paimon. Give me a hand over here, please. You load the cannon safely. Okay, can we fire it? Operate. Move it over just a tad. Nope, definitely this way. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. And boom. Oh my goodness. No way, it's gotta be that low. That seems way too low. Did I just have to move it to the left? Oh. Why is it firing so high? All right, there we go. We got it. Oh my goodness. Look, we've done it. Awesome. Bullseye, just as planned. Looks like that Clitifo doesn't know what he's talking about after all. Guess we blamed him unjustly. You mean you blamed him unjustly. Go apologize once you have the time. Yeah, you were right. I was too hasty. Paimon wonders what's up ahead. Oh, it's scary, but it's also exciting. Shall we continue onward? Yeah, all right, let's go. Yep. I agree, but first... No nope. rest. Uh, Stop right there. What I wanted to do, I want to heal up Sino. <laughs> All right, let's go and check out this mine. What did we open up? This is gonna be terrible, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Oh, good. Oh, good. That's exactly what I like to see. I gotta go that way, huh? It's a level 62. I think we can fight him. We got this. Come on, come on. Oh, I do not like this. Material. Let's get him out of here. I can't sprint in there. That's really going to slow us down. Come on, get off of the wall. Get off of that wall like that all right all right here we go big damage time let's finish him off All right. Yo, shoot. Here we go. It's over. Easy, baby. Easy. You just got to get out of that muck. This stuff slows us down so much. Official's almost hurt. Right so I want to heal her up a little bit before we get too far in. Is there a waypoint? What is that? All right, let's see. I mean, this has to be the way we need to go, right? Help me out, little Seely. Help me 
out. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, I got scared. And this place is super creepy. Oh, yeah, baby. Wealth is the foundation oh, we are so close to level 40. That's going to open up a bunch of story. Hey, level 40. Let's go, baby. Now we have a lot of story quests that we are able to do. Finally. Finally. Look at this. All of these should be unlocked. Zhongli, Tartaglia, Ganyu. I can play almost all of them. Let's go, baby. All right. Oh my goodness. What is that? Lumen stone only started springing up like mushrooms within the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats and its damaged state, it really does look like the fragments that Iris said existed on Dragon's Spine. And yeah, I'm talking about those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might also be inexorably attracted to unite with a large fragment somehow. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sleeps under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragon Spine. What do you think? Yeah, it's possible. The changes to the geological structure of the chasm have been accelerating. The black substance that you see covering the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think that these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, and this floating crystal fragment. Hmm, why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of queasy. It's like getting motion sick on a carriage, or like losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Uh, really? Paimon feels all right. If you don't feel good, we can return to camp first. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. I've had my fair share of bouts of vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Please take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Ah, yes. Have you noticed? There are three strange devices around this crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? All right. Do a little bit more investigating, huh? Oh, yes. I love the fact that we have that there now. All right, let's go and find these devices. Oh, I see one right there. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to guess, activate, and then I'm going to come over here. Ugh. You really want to touch that? That looks like a bad idea. All right, we got to figure out. Activate. Let's go, baby. All right, insufficient lumen stone energy. Oh no. I used it all up. Let's get this. I don't know if those recharge over time, but so we got one down. There's the second one right here. There might be more, there might be more up top. All right, now we know how to take care of these things. We just gotta zap them with the light. Uh, hello? What the? Drop your weapons. What are you? Yeah, I don't really want to be like stuck in this. So if we could just move out, that would be fine. What is this thing? All right, let's move away. Let's move away. Come on, 
Jesus. Come on, Saito. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we don't have any overloaded benefits right now. This is strictly Sino. Come on, get close! 99! What was that thing? Oh my goodness. All right, come over here. And zap it. Okay. Recharge. All right. This isn't. This isn't too difficult. We have one more. And we just need to activate this final one. Then I have no idea what is going to happen. Let's see. It's over there. But how am I going to reach it? Okay. So we can't step into any of that muck. All right. Definitely did not expect a battle, but it is what it is. Little Dio slimes. Oh, good. I shall use that. All right, let's just finish these guys. Oh my goodness. Good. You're stuck behind the wall. <laughs> Where did these guys make me go? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we could actually grab this. That's nice. Oh, there's only one? That's it. The final beam. What's happening? Is it gonna cleanse the area? No. Jesus! Final warning. Are you kidding? Oh my god, he scared me! Three, two, one. Come on, there we go. There we go. We gotta go just a little bit longer in order to get the energy. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on, Toma. Other one first. All right. Now it's over. One more. Move on away from that wall. Come on. Come on, just go to sleep. Oh boy. Uh, 
no, 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 All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. I have heals. <laughs> I have heals. Look at all of this stuff. Look at all of this stuff. Restores 34% of uh, max HP to the selected character and regenerates 980. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Chivarus is looking awfully hungry and uh here you go toma eat some bolognese let's go destroy this guy shall we ow Three, two, one, no. By royal check this out. I got you covered. All right. Through me, justice is served. Hey. Come on. We got to get that shield off of him. Close. All right. Official is out. Once again. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Woo! That was a tough fight. That was a tough fight. Let's see what's gonna happen. Blends the chasm, please. Uh, why did that look like it destroyed the bottom? Phew, that's better. Much better. The air uh, <laughs> suddenly got a whole lot cleaner. That thing flew away and blasted a path open for us. Wow, you scared us. It's almost like you had a case of terminal acidity. Paban, don't you mean terminal lucidity? Oh yeah, sure. Just focus on Paimon and stuff. By the way, terminal lucidity is not used this way. Shouldn't we be more concerned about Xi Qiong? I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustment a moment ago. So I might have looked pretty frightening, but I'm fine now. Please don't worry. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thin air if they climb a very high mountain for the first time or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. These are small problems, things every good adventure must overcome. No problem at all, really. Small problems, says the person who talks about them so dramatically. Are you sure you're all right? Also, don't watch from so close when we're fighting. Just look at the state you're already in. I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. That's what adventurers should be like. They should walk with death and consider deadly peril as a friend. We fear neither death nor danger. So, <coughs> this is nothing I can't handle. What are you even talking about? It's nothing. Please don't worry about me. <coughs> oh boy. I'm just worried about your safety. That's right. We are talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface to rest. No, oh, please. <laughs> Listen to me. They're not different. They're the same thing. What just happened was just a small setback. I can overcome it for sure. 
the environment here is no harsher than that of Mare Javari. Please, don't laugh at me, but I don't think I'm much inferior to Stanley in adventures. <laughs> Stanley? Then ordinary people like me can do the same as those seasoned adventurers, just with some extra grit. That's what I believe. I will persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Then let Paimon ask you a question. Earlier, when you came into contact with that black muddy smelly stuff did you feel uncomfortable like this too kinda it wasn't that serious don't try to downplay it give us an honest answer well yes but just like this time i just needed to tough it out you know it was nothing serious this person has got to be the king of the land of understatements how can you be so sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it for too long? You need to go back and take a rest. I can't. This expedition has just gotten exciting, you know? I don't want to slow us down. The other people on this expedition need you to lead the way for them. That's right, Jinwu, Kadive, and the others still need you to guide them. If you run off by yourself into the depths, Who's going to lead the way for them? You can guide them and steer them clear of any hazardous areas. But, but... Let's rendezvous in the front later. Okay, I understand. Do be careful. Um, I'll go back to camp and guide them through a safe path clear of the dark mud as we go deeper into the chasm. Sorry, I was being too stubborn. Better keep your promises and hold your horses and stay clear of dangerous places. All right, I get it. I'll do as you say. That's the spirit. KB, let's head off. Where are we going? Okay. Perils in the dark. Oh, man. Lumenstone ore. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit at all. Uh, oh, this, okay. Yes. This is where we met Dane. All right. Examine the dark fog in front of you. Oh, heck yeah, baby. Now we're gonna investigate this place and figure it all out. The road ahead seems covered in a dark fog. Yep, we know that one. Let's see. I... Destroy this thing? Does that do anything? No? Okay. Let's walk into it. It's almost like this thing is rejecting us. We can't get through. Look for clues near the dark fog. Okay. Look for clues near the dark fog. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I was right. Okay, so we need uh, some lumen stone here. We need to be lit up. Okay, so right over here is actually a spot where we can recharge. So that is good to know. So let's go back down over here. Uh, where was it on this side? Yes, baby. All right, light this thing up. Fatuous Journal. Staff Sergeant Anton has discovered a large bell to the southeast. The rock walls have their script all over it. This is very similar to the large bell that Captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest. Perhaps. We dispatched Snezhnevna. Snezhnevna? 
and Fideka to ring the two bells in their respective corners. As the terrifying tolls reverberated through the stone, the black fog dissipated. What a strange phenomenon. It's almost like the bells were announcing someone's arrival. Ten were lost. Two vanguard squads took immense damage. The captain ordered a retreat. A simple map falls out from a diary. The map marks out the two bells in the northwest and southeast with two ominous skulls to go with them. Oh, good.